you're going to see the students evaluating this product from a scientific point of view. We have thermal imagers, laser thermometers, temperature settings, video evidence, and any other visual and uh, data sets we can put onto a product to figure out why it works and just how well it works. Uh, we're going to be testing it today. Fire Ice is a completely environmentally friendly product. It's a potassium-based polymer. It's certified as a food. The United States Forest Service, the Canadian Forestry Service, has endorsed it as far as being able to be used on anything. It harms nothing in our environment whatsoever. All it is is this powder. We're going to mix it up with some water, and it's going to create a gel. You see the gel that was created. When you look at Bruce's hand right now, he's coated it with Fire Ice. He's got a map cast torch about 3,000 degrees on his hand. And it's edible. <laughs> well, this pallet right here with hay is soaked in fire ice, the product. This one is not. Both are soaked in diesel fuel as well. Right 66, degrees. 66 degrees on the treated product. So in this case right here, we have three Christmas trees. The middle tree will be fully involved with fire. Uh, on the left is treated with fire ice. On the right is not. Okay, so the middle tree just peaked at 663 degrees. Fire started to expose itself to the non-treated tree. The treated tree is also pushed in. One of the things we want to demonstrate is the knockdown power of the fire ice so you don't have to use copious amounts of water. And certainly if there was a fire in an automobile, the car is totaled. Our biggest concern is if it was in a parking area, parking garage, in a tunnel, someplace where fire would extend out of the automobile into other vehicles or next to a structure, an auto body shop, something along that line, uh, we would certainly want to be able to knock it down rapidly. So that's 200 gallons for a full knockdown. As I said before, it's usually three to 500 gallons with water.